Hi friends, this is Arish. Today I would like to explain the how to install this uh, Cognos. This is the first. This video is the first part uh, about the installation Cognos server uh, framework manager and uh, Oracle database. First, uh, these are the packages uh, given by the IBM and um, framework server and um, framework manager and as well as the samples which are given by the IBM that has the Go cells. I extracted those uh, to some folder and as uh, separately server model and uh, samples here I am trying to install this uh, server just click on this uh, server setup first uh, we'll select the language and uh, agree the agreement select the location of that uh, directory and these are the installation uh, components and these are the now these are the packages installing here a uh, time being uh, I'm not showing all this uh, installation process okay yeah so you need not to do anything simply uh, click on finish okay now installation of uh, server is over uh, let's install the framework manager and uh, this is here it is a model and uh, win32 click on the setup again this is the same process as well as the server and uh, here uh, you take the same location of this directory uh, even though it uh, shows that uh, directory is there select the same as well by default next click click next click and next and uh, here also I didn't show uh, this full process it will take some time and uh, can ok that's not a problem we uh, finish again now it's also over now uh, install the samples here these are the samples uh, database given by this uh, IBM which has the uh, you know that is uh, go cells uh, go cell samples this is no need to do anything select the same as well as the server and the framework manager next 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 again uh, finish ok now we install this uh, IBM, ser IBM server and the framework manager as well as this uh, samples now download the oracle exe universal uh, exe that is available in uh, oracle server oracle site that is free if you have Oracle 10G, that's fine. You you install that one, but uh, you should take a, a note here. You should uh, install this uh, Oracle database. That should be character characteristic is uh, Unicode. That should be for this data data warehouse. And uh, for XE, while you install this uh, Oracle Universal XE, that will not uh, that is not matter because of uh, that will take uh, by default that will take that uh, uni unicode character set ok here I am trying to install this uh, oracle universal xc that is free and available in uh, oracle site that is extracting anyway you better to do the uh, if you have uh, Oracle 10.2 full version, uh, it's better to be that on back because of uh, it's having some limitation. Oracle XC, okay. Simply click on next and agree the agreement license agreement. Again, okay. Next, here uh, enter the password for the sister uh, system this is the administrator accounts password put, uh, put it as you like uh, and uh, see this is the database listener 1521 that is the, that is the default uh, for uh, oracle here installation process is taking place you can also install the oracle 10. Point, uh, 10.2 that is uh, full version is better than this one because of it's having the only one GB limitation while you importing this uh, samples you will get this some problem with this so you better to install the full version of that one 
کیا ہے دس پروسیس از ٹیکنگ مور ٹائم اوکے فار ٹائم بینگ ٹائم بینگ آئی ایم ناٹ شوئنگ دا آل دس پروسیس ہیئر آلسو اوکے لیٹ می فنش نو انسٹال کاگنوس اینڈ فریم ورک مینیجر ایز ویل ایز ورائکل آلسو اٹس فائن ओके चेक इट एंड क्रिएट द यूज चेक इट वेदर इज इट इज इंस्टॉल प्रॉपरली और नॉट आई एम जस्ट चेकिंग ओके ओपन दिस ऑन सिस्टम यू एंटर द पासवर्ड व्हिच आर यू गिवन आई बेटर टू बी गिव सिस्टम एज सिस्टम ओनली ओके बाय डिफॉल्ट System manager is the default password. Okay, I am checking whether it is working properly or not. Username is system. I am taking I am typing here system and as well as password also. You can check through this portal or uh, this also no problem whatever it may be. Yeah, it's connected means it's working. And now I am creating the uh, content manager I user for content manager uh, that is content store uh, cognos and uh, give the same password as well as user and the user is cognos and the password is cognos it's, uh, it's easy to remember okay here uh, and uh, you better to create the user all users go sales go sales go dw go h uh, go sales hr and uh, go sales dw you better to create the uh, those okay at this time only the, the, the those uh, will be useful at uh, installation of uh, uh, importing uh, importing the database okay thank you